This is Bloomberg UTV. Retail stores spread across 75 cities in less than six years. How could anyone manage that without any background in the business or backing from an established retail player? 34-year-old Jay Gupta had neither. Yet, he's managed opening those 140 The Loot stores in 75 Indian cities in less than six years. How on earth did that happen? We started with a, a store which was a multi-brand store and uh, after opening that store uh, we realized that ultimately customer is, uh, is looking for a lot of choice. Hmm. So a lot of customers who were coming in was not getting converted hmm. in buying. So out of 100 probably hardly 10 used to buy. So as a young man we used to get really irritated. After that we tried a format called exclusive format for brands like Adidas and Provoke and Weekender. After opening exclusive stores, we could see the similar pattern, 100 people coming in and around 10, 11 customers buying. So out of 100, around 90 people come and ask you, what is the discount you offer? And that really took me uh, to a next level, saying that everybody wants discount, everybody wants brand, everybody wants good fashion. So we felt that discount is something which customers are looking, let's focus on that. You are also saying that this is a value retail store as opposed to it being a discount store. So how do you differentiate between the two? Yeah. I, then after that we got into a factory outlet uh, uh, as a discount. There we could see the customer used to come, they used to buy, they were very happy. Uh, but they had a lot of complaints that you sell second, you sell defectives, don't give us guarantee, don't give us good experience. After that this conceptualization of the loot was born and the idea of loot came into picture and then we opened uh, the first store in 2004. Then we differentiated ourselves from a factory outlet and then uh, made it a concept which is the loot where we say that it's guaranteed 25% off. You get a minimum, uh, 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 anything, any product, anything wrong, we give you 100% buyback guarantee. We give maximum 60% off to the consumers. So then we brought into a concept and we became a multi-brand discount store from a factory outlet. We graduated there. In fact, it was as a student in Mumbai that Jay first thought about venturing into retail. His target audience, the burgeoning Indian middle class, which was getting increasingly brand conscious, but always looked out for a good discount. The clarity helped in modifying the business model that Jay had to refine as he expanded. Three years into the business, with 23 stores in place, 2007 was when expansion became a mantra for the loot. And that's also when Jay launched a massive thrust in marketing and publicizing the brand. Uh, we had to choose our brand ambassador, Mr. Gulshan Grover, we choose him <laughs> because it, he has to fit into the concept basically because a bad man uh, character, he was the only bad man left <laughs> and we wanted somebody who does the Robin Hood role, who goes and loots from the brand and gives it to the consumers at a discounted price. So a lot of hard work I think and a lot of teamwork uh, and then I think in first two years we scaled it to around 20, 20 stores or odd and it is just in last 18 months when the entire market was slowing down we zoomed it up. How do you get the products on a discounted price and how do you make your money? We have huge volumes. Our purchase orders are very very high and in this industry there is a lot of credit which works and not many people buy the merchandise. The merchandise comes on consignment. We are the only retailers or we would be one of the retailers who buy the merchandise and we buy it at cash down. So we go with our gunny bags, <laughs> put it there, this is a payment, give me the stock at my price. And that advantage is given to the consumers. So ultimately that benefit of huge discount, of volume, of uh, cash discount, of uh, limited sizes which we buy, uh, all that is passed to the consumer straight. But then this would have uh, come about much later because volumes have only come now with over right, 140 right, right, stores. Right. When you just had say about five, how were the margins working then? Yeah, it was very challenging. That point of time our gross margins were in single digits. And now it has definitely got into double digit. So from I think that time of 8% we were managing things and now we have graduated to above 30%. But that time the cost was not that high. You didn't have this big team with the company.